Hello and welcome back Super Moms. In today's video I'm going to be getting super personal about my journey to finding myself but also why I was headed for a major self-destruct constantly trying to be someone else. So I'll be the first one to admit that I used to not be a very nice person. I was miserable. That's the only kind of excuse I've got. I don't feel like it's a good enough excuse, but that's all I have. Um, <laughs> that's all I have, that's all I'm giving. I, I wasn't happy in myself, I wasn't happy with my surroundings, what I was doing with my time, how I interacted with people, nothing. Like, looking back, there was kind of nothing. And this, all changed. A uh, big turning point in my life was when my mum got ill. Uh, you may have heard me talk about this before. I did a live on the Facebook page about why that made me so passionate about my time management and setting my priorities. And I, this affected so many areas of my life. I got fit and healthy off the back of this. I started yeah, managing my time better and wanting to do things my way and also I wanted to be happier. I wanted to be, exist in, in this kind of, in, in this, yeah, in this happy place, in this like being myself became such a massive part of that because I realised I'd spent my entire life trying to be someone else. Clearly it wasn't working very well because I was miserable and I'm not entirely sure I was a particularly great person to be around and I kind of hope that now I'm not miserable. I definitely know I'm not miserable now and I kind of hope I'm a better person to be around. It's, it's crazy when you start going into anything self-development how you will kind of look back on your past and you start like assessing yourself and I'm so much about like evaluating things and assessing things now and how can I do things better or how can I do things more me and um, how can I get more out of my time or how can I get be a better friend or be a better partner be a better mum be a better Christian like all these things I love the evaluation like stage and looking the happier I get and the better I am with my life the more I kind of evaluate the past and think how how can I not let that happen again, <laughs> kind of thing. And I think a lot of it goes back to at school, I was very badly bullied. I started in a junior school that as far as I know, I was, I was happy, but they couldn't deal with my, I had eyesight issues and they couldn't deal with my dyslexia. I got moved into an amazing school, which I do still love at my core. I still loved that school in so many ways, but I was badly bullied, particularly in the first few years. I was I was very tall and I looked like the bigger kids and the bigger kids picked on me because they weren't really picking on a smaller kid because I wasn't small. I was bigger than quite a few of them, but I was very much younger. And it's very hard to be yourself when everything you do and everything you are is picked upon by other people. And so when I left that school and moved into my first of my two secondary schools, I tried to be someone else. I didn't want to be me because me had been picked on and me didn't want to be picked on anymore. Um, and I was still picked on, go figure. Um, but I got then into a consistent pattern of, of not being myself. Um, I think my particular one was with boys, whatever the boy I liked was into. I'd suddenly be very into that um, to the point where I've like done like sports that I'm not in any way into, bought albums from bands that I'm just like, yeah, whatever, they're kind of all right. Um, spent like, a, particularly in like my second secondary school and late secondary school, early sixth form, spent a lot of time researching like bands and styles of said boy I liked, trying to be like, what would he want me to be? And it's only now that I'm finally with a partner that wants me to be me that I was like, oh, crumbs. <laughs> Need to work that one out, don't I? <laughs> um, suddenly that becomes a whole like the ball of wax. And but I did I did that with friends as well. I was constantly trying to be someone else. And it's because I wanted these people to like me and that's 
quite tricky because you're constantly in these small circles when you're younger and you, you think that that's it. If these people don't like you, then no one will like you. And the thing is, the world is really, really big and there are lots of people, but when you're young, you feel like everyone should like you and that a couple of people aren't good enough. And actually, I'm now in a place where as long as my kid, my partner, and maybe like one person is happy with me, then that's kind of all I need. As long as that one person's got enough time to go out for lovely food, cocktails, and the occasional shopping trip, we're good. Um, so it's, it's funny that it's now like come full circle, and I've realized I don't need all these people to like me. And actually, the only person that really needs to like me is me mildly ironic considering all the effort I put into trying to make everyone else like me and in the end I ended up hating myself. I have found that there are a lot of similarities between being at school and becoming a mum. There's like the weird, I don't know, maybe you're in like that weird space where you're having to learn everything again and it puts you in like a really vulnerable place in the same way that you did when you were at school. You're on that massive learning curve, the same way you would have been when you were at school. Not just learning stuff at school, but learning your social skills and learning to get used to like the body when you hit puberty and stuff. It's, it's that kind of dramatic change that you go through again when you become a mum. And suddenly you're faced with this like massive group of people that you're meant to like and they're meant to like you. And actually, doesn't matter. It does not matter. You are much better off having like one or two really good mum friends that connect with you and get you than having all the mums that you meet that happen to have a kid the same age think you're ace because chances are that they don't and if they're, if you're kind of, you're, you're not being real and authentic to yourself, then eventually you'll all kind of drift apart and there's no like solid base for that friendship. You need to go out and, and be yourself and I do think this is partly why a lot of mums lose themselves when they first become mums. Even through the different stages of it is because you're constantly trying to be someone else and you can completely be you and still be a mum. I don't want people going and thinking a mum is a certain type of person and I really, I really preach that across all the super mum society things is that being a super mum, as I say at the end of every video, being a super mum is being the mum that you want to be. Being the one that you want to be is being yourself as a mum. That's, that's as simple as it is really. It's so frustrating that I've spent so much of my life trying to be what I thought other people wanted me to be and in the end ended up hating myself because actually the real me has got so much to give to the world in the same way that the real you has so much to give to the world. You are the way you are for a reason. Uh, you're part of this amazing bigger picture and it's it's tough because sometimes being you can maybe feel like a little bit selfish or it can feel like a little bit isolating but I'm kind of like stick to being you and you will find the people that are meant to fit into that picture as opposed to you trying to squeeze into everyone else's pictures which it just it doesn't work and it's draining it's so draining whether you've always struggled with being yourself or this is something quite new to you since you're becoming a mum, I really hope that this can inspire you to not waste all those years that I've wasted and make the changes now. Really start looking at your life, looking who you're hanging out with, looking at how you're spending your time, look at what you're doing work-wise, look at how you're behaving as a mum and does that really resonate with you? Is that authentic to you and who you really want to be? Because in the end, only you can make a change. I am a firm believer that people can change, but only the person changing can, can do that work and realize that they want to do it. You can reach out and get help, but if you don't in your core want to make those changes, it's not gonna happen. So I think my biggest inspiration to stick with this and be myself is my small human. I keep reminding myself, would I want her to do this? Would I want her to feel this way? Would I want her to act this way? And I want to lead by example. They're not so good at listening to what we say, but they will see how we behave, how we feel about ourselves. I always like hold her up to the mirror and go, oh, look at those gorgeous girls. Doesn't mommy look pretty today? Doesn't Felicity look pretty today? And get her to have like that, that body confidence, that self-esteem, but the same with 
people. I don't want her to see mummy going out and being one person in front of other people or her to feel like mummy's being fake in front of people. I don't want her to like come home and then see a different person. I want her to have this consistent view of this is who mummy is and mummy goes out and owns it because that's how I will hope that she is. I want her to be comfortable in her own skin and the best way I can help her do that is to be comfortable in my own skin and let her see that. I'm sure I will talk about my like journey over the last five years in future videos but do give me a shout if you've got any questions do pop any comments down below you can connect with me on social media or you can literally email me directly through the website I will pop all the links for that down below I think it is so important to every aspect of your life to be yourself which is why I really wanted to do a whole theme on this and I do hope these videos are going to be helpful for you make sure you check out the entire playlist which I'll also link down below Thank you for watching. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember, being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.